Furious Brexiteers accused Brussels of trying to annex Northern Ireland today as Theresa May made clear she will not cave to EU demands. Former Minister David Jones said the EU was putting forward a fantasy plan to keep control of Northern Ireland that would never be acceptable to the British people and Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson accused Eurocrats of using the Irish border politically to force the UK to stay in the customs union. The flaming row erupted after a draft emerged of a legal text prepared by Brussels based on December's political agreement. The document brands the idea of a common regulatory area the default option in the event no deal can be agreed by the UK and EU. The controversial idea implies that Northern Ireland will effectively stay inside the EU single market and was flatly rejected by Downing Street sources who insisted the PM would not sign up to anything that threatens the constitutional integrity of the UK or its common market. Mr Jones, a former Brexit minister, said this morning that Brussels seemed to think it could simply annex Northern Ireland. That is what it would amount to, he said. The UK's preferred options for an open border controlled under a free trade agreement and using technology will not be set out in the draft treaty. Due to be published by Michelle Barnier later today, Brussels deems they have not been spelled out in enough detail by UK ministers. Britain accepted continued regulatory alignment if trade talks failed during December's tense talks but making it the default choice will enrage Brexiteers. The incendiary row comes after a leaked cabinet letter written by Mr Johnson suggested he had questioned the importance of the Irish border issue. In the letter the Foreign Secretary raised the prospect of a harder border between Northern Ireland and the Republic if other solutions failed. Mrs May has repeatedly insisted she will not accept a hard border involving inspection posts and checkpoints. Following warnings this could undermine the Northern Ireland peace process. But in the letter, Mr Johnson wrote that it was wrong to see the task as maintaining no border on the island of Ireland after Brexit saying the government's task was to stop this border becoming significantly harder, questioned by journalists as he was out jogging this morning. Mr. Johnson said he was a victim of dirty tricks by those who wanted to thwart Brexit. The Northern Ireland border is being used politically to try to keep the UK in the customs union, so we can't really leave the EU. That's what's going on, he said. The customs union and single market have emerged as crucial battlegrounds in the struggle over Brexit. The customs arrangements could decide the fate of the overall deal, as the UK has already said it will ensure there is no hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic. Here are the main options for what could happen after Britain leaves the bloc. Staying in the EU single market a Norway-style arrangement would be the deepest possible without formally staying in the EU. The single market rules out tariffs, quotas or taxes on trade and guarantees free movement of goods, services capital and, controversially, people. It also seeks to harmonize rules on packaging, safety and standards. Staying in the EU Customs Union The Customs Union allows EU states to exchange goods without tariffs and impose common tariffs on imports from outside the bloc, but they also prevent countries from striking deals outside the Union. Theresa May has repeatedly made clear that the UK will be leaving the Customs Union. Forging a new customs union Some MPs and the Labour leadership have raised the idea of creating a new customs union with the EU. This could be looser than the existing arrangements but still allow tariff-free trade with the bloc, however. Many Eurosceptics believe it is impossible to be in a union without hampering the UK's ability to strike trade deals elsewhere. They also complain that it would mean accepting the EU's protectionist tariffs against other parts of the world in areas like agriculture. The PM has also ruled out this option, a customs partnership less formal than a union. This proposal would seek to cherry-pick the elements that facilitate tariff-free trade without binding the UK's hands when it comes to deals with other countries. One possibility could be keeping the UK and EU connected for trade in goods but allowing divergence for the services sector. The partnership option was floated by the government in a position paper last year. Highly streamlined customs This scenario would be a bare minimum customs arrangement between the EU and UK. New technology would be deployed alongside a simple agreement to minimize friction, but there are fears that this could hit trade. And it is unclear how the system would work with a soft Irish border.